morning from Dubrovnik. Today we're on our way to Lokram Island. We've just got our tickets. They were 300 kuna, which works out at about 17 pound each. Yeah, the boat ride I think is about 15 minutes. Let's go. So we just got off the boat, it was a nice boat ride, really quick. We've just ran ahead of everyone because there's so many people on the boat today, surprised it didn't sink. Our first stop is... Fort Royal. Which is? Uh, which is a fort named Royal. Have you seen it? Outdoor classroom? Outdoor. Classroom? No way. How amazing. Yeah. Surely it is. But no one lives here. Maybe it's when the kids come over, they might be there later. Oh maybe. Because that's a chalkboard. Yeah, true. That's so cool. It's a great way to learn. God, it is, eh? The fort was really cool. I really didn't expect it to be so big, and we certainly didn't expect that you'd be able to walk around it for free. Um, the only thing it was missing, it'd be nice if there was a bit more information, like when it was built and what it was used for, but it was really nice and now we're going to carry on wandering around the island. We heard so much about the peacocks over here, nobody mentioned the bunny rabbits. They're everywhere and they're absolutely gorgeous. So we've seen the botanical gardens and I think we can safely say we've definitely got more footage of rabbits than the actual plants and now we're going to go and head to the Dead Sea. The plan was to go for a swim but nobody else is in the water and there's a lot of people here so I think we're going to skip it but it does look really nice, it's really calm water. I can only guess that the reason it's called Dead Sea is because it might be sea that got trapped because I don't think you can float in it. No? No you can't swim, you can't float in it, no. Um... Uh, so we're going to check a few more places out and then pretty soon we're going to be heading back to the boat and we're going to be trying some local Croatian cheese which I can't wait for. back to the harbour now but we're gonna go via Charlotte's well no idea what it is just saw a sign for it okay change of plan because the port is that way and Charlotte's well is that way and we've only got about 15 minutes we're not chancing it kind of changed a bit. The idea was when we got back into Dubrovnik we'd head to this little restaurant that we'd seen where they do a big cheese platter. When we got there we actually found out that it wasn't a big cheese platter it was just two small starter portions which worked out at about £12 each so instead we decided to come home head to our local supermarket and we've picked up 
two cheeses, massive block of cheese, a huge loaf of bread and some crisps that worked out just over £11. So about half price, which is good. Uh, so the cheeses that we've got, we've got uh, Pasqui Seer, which is made from sheep's milk from the island of Pag. Um, apparently it's quite salty in flavour because the winds whip up the sea and it gets salt on the grass which the sheep eat. So that's why Pasqui Seer can only come from the island of Pag. And the Pasqui Seer actually won awards, I think, in 2017 for being the best sheep's cheese in the world. So it should be good. And the other cheese we've got is Ziggle Gen. Definitely pronouncing that one wrong. But again, that's a sheep and cow's milk and cheese. And the cheese is matured in the skins of olives. So you're a big fan of olives, so you should like that one. And I'm a big fan of cheese. <laughs> so we're going to try the Ziggle Gen first. Oh, it smells quite strong. It's like a very mature cheddar. I can't put my finger on it. Yeah, it's like it's got a nutty flavour to it as well, but it is mature. It's absolutely gorgeous. But yeah, I'm, I'm not going to keep nibbling that, but that's really, really nice. So, on to the... Pasqui. Pasqui. Which should be incredible. We're expecting big things from this Croatia. It's like really smooth. It's still a nice, strong flavour, not too strong. Really, really rich and creamy. And if you haven't guessed it. already, we're not very good food connoisseurs, <laughs> so our descriptions are pretty shocking. But all we can say is it tastes good. Yeah. Mm. Next, we're going to try the bread. <laughs> anyway, I'm sure you don't want to watch us eat the rest of our lunch. We're going to sign off for today now. We've had a really nice day out, and mm. tomorrow we're packing up because we're heading out again, and this time we're off to. <laughs> Wow.